like water and power. That's key. <laughs> oh, hello there. Pete Nally from Two Tiny Wings here, along with a special guest appearance <laughs> by Mary. And today we are going to be talking about what is in our park bags. And so each one of us carries our own bag and they all kind of have different purposes for when we go into the park. So we want to go through what each one of us brings to the park and what kind of our bag looks like and its contents. I guess I'll start. I'm kind of like the pack horse of the group. <laughs> so I take the biggest bag. The bag I used last time was a different version of this one, but it's like an Under Armour. It's like the Storm One. It's got like lots of different pockets. It takes um, about a minute for him to get through security. <laughs> yes. One trick with that, with getting through security, is making sure everything's unzipped beforehand because this has like 14 or 15 different zippers, it seems like. <laughs> but one of the reasons I like this is a couple of things. One, it has a bunch of different compartments, so I carry a lot of different things, and so it's nice to know where each thing is, and I'm not ser searching through an entire bag a lot of times. The other thing that's nice, and it relates to one of the things that I bring, is I, I like to bring both a water bottle and an umbrella, and if you look on the sides, there's a little, one little packet pocket here, and one little pocket here, and so I can stick I can stick both the water bottle and the umbrella right on the outside and it's really easy to get to. There's a lot of times where I'd be walking around and all of a sudden somebody would say, I need water. And I would just kind of like turn to them. They could grab the water, grab it, and then, and then put it back in. Yeah, there's also a shoe pocket in the front. So when our, when our um, ponchos would be wet, we would just open this up and stuff our wet ponchos in there and it would be separated from all of our important things. One of the things that we I like to bring into the bag is a disposable poncho for each one of us. So we'll go to the dollar store and we'll get a whole bunch of these and then I'll just throw four of them in my bag at the beginning of the day. A lot of times we don't need them but it's really easy and nice to all of a sudden if all of a sudden there's a rain we can throw it right on. There is the, the pocket in the bag that I can kind of separate it from everything else so it doesn't get everything else in the bag uh, all wet. And I think along those lines, one of the best tips we ever, ever got is to bring flip-flops. And you go to Old Navy, you get like dollar flip-flops. You put those in your bag because it is a lot easier to walk around in flip-flops for an hour or two than it is to walk around in soaked sneakers for the rest of the day. And when it rains, it tends to pour and there are a lot of different spots that will flood quickly. So that is a fantastic tip. Another thing that I'll bring, it depends on the time of year. So for example, we're coming up on a trip in November uh, in just a couple of days, and I won't necessarily carry it this time, but if we go during the summer, it's the Frog Tongs Original Cooling Towels. Yeah, We've got a couple of big ones, and then there, we actually bought a couple of the smaller ones as well. Um, so I'll kind of throw those in there and I keep them in the little plastic container because one of the things you can do is you just put a tiny bit of water in it in the container. It keeps it all wet and, and ready to be cooled off. And then when you're ready to be cooled off, you just open it up, swing it around a couple of times, and then you're nice and cool. Yeah, so. that is a lifesaver in the <laughs> summer. Another thing that I will t carry, and we actually kind of by trial and error realized we had too many of these last time, <laughs> it's a power bank. Um, we thought we were gonna need a lot more than we did. The fo our phones actually lasted a lot longer. So we ba basically uh, carry one of these power banks, which I think has like four phone char full phone chargers on it. And then the other thing you wanna make sure is you bring the cables for it. Yeah. So that you can connect it to your phone. There's a couple of them that I do have that the cables attached to the power bank, uh, but I'll usually bring one or two of those just in case you need to recharge, say, your phone, or when we're vlogging, we might sometimes need to have recharge our cameras. Um, and just a good general tip is with all the like power banks and stuff, is to have little sandwich bags to keep mm. them all in. One, it helps organize. And then on rides like Splash Mountain, you don't want all of a sudden your brand new power bank to just completely be dead. Yeah. <laughs> and along those camera, phone, powery supply kind of things, um, we also have our SD card case that we bring and then our hard case for the camera just in case we need a little extra protection. And one of the things that I do with the hard case since usually we're vlogging so the camera actually doesn't go back into the case all that often is there's a couple little compartments in there and so we'll keep usually a couple of extra cables in there as well and the batteries. 
what we te what we ended up really doing with vlogging, and again, if you're vlogging or even if you're just going and, and you're taking a lot of pictures and using your camera a lot, we bought a couple of extra batteries. Mm -hmm. That way we didn't really have to worry about charging the battery or charging the camera. It was just swap out one battery, put in another one. And I think the most we went through on any day when we were vlogging last trip in July was three. Yeah, I, I don't think, think we ever used more than three. And that's like sun up to sun down, like park open to park closed. And vlogging and doing a lot of video mm -hmm. and that. So we, we found, especially with the camera that we've got, uh, which is the Canon G7X Mark II, mm -hmm. we found that that was, it had pretty good battery life. So mm -hmm. it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, so he's generally our water guy, our <laughs> battery guy. Water and power, that's key. <laughs> and the, again, the bag's big enough that I've got room that I can fit everything in it. And it's not, and it's nice and, the, again, the, the Under Armour Storm 1 is nice and comfortable on my shoulders and that too, so. Yeah, and it fits in all of the little storage compartments on all the rides. Yep. Mary, what do you bring? So I generally like to just have everything that I need with me. I just am that way. So last time I brought this bag, which was a decent size because I liked to keep my flip flops and my umbrella in it. And, but since this trip, it's not going to be as rainy. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing my lounge fly that I got because it's smaller, more compact. And I've already used it a couple times for half days that I have at school and it is so easy to just use, and it holds a decent amount. So what I bring, usually, phone, wallet, make sure you have those, those are good things. <laughs> I bring sunglasses, and again, in the little bag, just to protect them, but sunglasses, it gets bright, and sometimes it just hurts your eyes, or if you start to get like a headache or something, that can help. Phone cord for charging phone with Mr. Power Man. <laughs> um, I have my pin lanyard because we're really big pin traders we discovered recently. So we have all of our brand new pins for this trip on our lanyards and I've got my little straw and everything. And then the last item that is more of a personal thing is, like I said, I'd like to be very organized with everything that I do. And we're very big food people, especially myself. So what I did before we went on our last trip is I basically s sectioned off every single food item and what place they are. So if all of a sudden somebody's like, I want something sweet, I can just pull out my journal and be like, oh, well, there's a strawberry lemonade slushy at the Tortoga Tavern in Magic Kingdom. So just an easy thing to pull out and find what snacks you want. And if you saw our haul video from our July 2019 trip, Mary also kept track of everything for that in her notebook. So she's very, very good at keeping track of what we're doing and when we're doing it. It also keeps my stickers. <laughs> um, I do not like to carry a whole lot of stuff. And so I use this little crossbody bag. In it, I will usually carry a little bit of sunscreen in case we need to put any on during the day. Um, I will also carry our annual passes and our IDs, any gift cards we might be using. And then I use this main pouch to carry our uh, camera. And so all the, the little stuff that we need for vlogging. I like it because like I said, it doesn't get in my way. And if we see something that we do need to pull the ca camera out from, it's very uh, easy access. So we're not going through 14 different zippers. She and keeps all the important stuff we're not allowed to touch. <laughs> and that is a Vera Bradley Disney pattern. Mm -hmm. It's very subtle, but you can see yeah. little Mickey Mouses on it maybe if you yeah. get it nice and close. So Yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. subtle Disney. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I think that about covers it. We have power, we have food, we have snacks, we have personal items, we have sunglasses, we have sunscreen. <laughs> I will say again, I think that the best tip that we've ever heard is the flip-flops mm -hmm. because <laughs> soggy sneakers are no fun. What do you think the best thing to carry is? Yeah. Um, and I think the other thing is a water bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Even if you're not going in the hottest part of the year, have, being able to carry your own water bottle that way, one, you can stay hydrated, which mm -hmm. is really important, but two, then you're not sitting there at some point when you want something to drink and you've got to spend $3 on a water bottle, yeah. you can kind of go and get yourself something to drink mm -hmm. on your own. So hopefully this gave you some idea of what to put in your own Disney bag. Definitely like this video, comment if you do something different that we don't. Subscribe so you keep up with all of our latest adventures. And with that, we invite you to set your imaginations free. Bye. Bye.